Systematic sampling involves a rule or counting by a certain number to uh, capture your sample. The easiest way to say that mathematically is to say every nth person is going to be in my sample. So let's define a rule that's going to get us the sample size we want and then randomly pick our starting point so that it's not always the first person and then every nine people from there or every twelve people from there. It's we start at some random spot and then we start counting every so many people. So for example, I want to randomly sample twelve people in a room out of eighty-five. Well, if I want to get twelve people in my sample, I need to figure out should I count every twentieth person, every eleventh person, and so forth. And the way I do that is I take my total of 85 and divide by my 12 people I want in my sample. And that comes out to somewhere roughly close to 7. So let's say every 7th person is going to be in the sample. Because if I count every 7th person, I'm going to end up with some number very close to 12. So, I'm going to choose a random number from 1 to 85, because that's going to be our starting point. And let's imagine that we get 44. Remember, we always just go back to our rand int if we wanted to do that uh, very carefully. If you were doing this on your own, you would use your rand int and get, let's say, 1, 85. 45. Well, that's actually pretty close, so I took a good guess and it was 44 here. But let's imagine that we got 44. We would sample person number 44. But we did also sample then every seventh person in each direction. So add on seven, we're going to sample person number 51, and person number 58, and 65, and so forth, all the way until we get to the end of our list. Same thing the other direction. Subtract seven, and we're going to get 37. Subtract seven more, and we're going to get 30, and so forth, all the way down to the uh, other end of the list. So if we're doing a rule, such as every seventh person, we randomly pick our starting point, and it could end up in the middle like it did here, it could end up closer to one of the ends, and you go every seventh person in both directions. And in this case, in this case it does end up being exactly 12 uh, people in my sample. There are times where you might get one more or one less, depending on how you do it.